everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this two-toned orange makeup look. So I have gone quite grungy and quite burnt orange on the eyes and then on the lips I've gone quite a bright orange with a gloss on and it's such a contrast because I have matte eyes, glossy lips, dark eyes, bright lips. I don't know why I wanted to do this but it kind of looked cool. If you would like to see how to create this two-toned orange makeup look, carry on watching. For today's look I will be using the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette because it's either that or the Modern Renaissance. They have all the colours I love and use on a daily basis and I thought I've not used the Urban Decay Basics one for a while so I thought I'd create a look using it. For the transition colour I'm going to be using this colour here called Nude. This shade is an amazing transition shade for any warm looks you're going to do as it's so subtle and just really helps everything blend together and if I ever need a transition colour for any look I always tend to use Nude from the Naked Ultimate Basics. Taking this on a spectrum brush so just blending that all throughout the crease and quite wishy-washy and I'm also blending it up towards the brow too and I'm also doing it in circular motions as well this just really helps distribute the product too. It just helps with the whole thing. So the next colour I'm going to use in my crease will be this shade called Faith and also Lockout to slightly deepen the crease. And I'm going to take this shade on this NYX 17 brush. So I'm just blending this again as per usual in the crease. These colours just help blend with the lid shade I'm going to be putting on as it would look quite blocky and not really well blended if I didn't blend these shades into the crease so this just helps. So I'm going to use this brush here which is the brush that came in the Naked Ultimate Basics and I'm going to use this short stubby end which is quite dense so it really packs the product on and it's amazing for the lid colour. So the shade I'm going to be using now for the lid is going to be this shade here which is my all time favourite colour in this palette and this is the shade Extra Bitter because oh just look at it, it is so damn gorgeous, oh I just love this shade, if this was a human I would marry it. <laughs> and now I'm going to pack this all over my lid. As you can see this colour is super pigmented and really picks up the product really well and with this end of the brush it just helps so much, it makes life so much easier when you pack on the product and I can just kind of blend it with the other end of the brush which is this end and I can just blend that bit, any harsh lines, it's just a really ideal brush. So now I have packed that all over my lid and it's looking pretty similar to the other eye and I love this shade. I'm going to go back in with my NYX 17 brush and I'm just going to blend this up as I like to have the colour quite high above my brow bone so I'm just taking this over the top. So I'm just taking the same shade and just going to blend this up towards my brow bone. So now it's time for mascara. And the mascara I'm going to use, and it's my Kiko False Lashes Concentrate Mascara, Volume and Definition, blah, 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 blah. The Kiko mascara that has the longest name in the world. As my eyelash extensions are going a bit wild at the moment. Very wild indeed. So this just kind of puts them all back in place. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to add this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade 620 Bronze and this is a copper shade, it's so pretty and it goes really well with this eye look. So I'm going to put this copper shade in the inner waterline and also the bottom lash line. Look how pretty it is, it just goes so well. Ooh, feel like a pumpkin latte. So now I have done that, I'm going to take 
these little gems which I have just recently got off eBay and I've been dying to get my hands on these and these are like nail art gems I, I love I just love these I have been wanting these for so long and finally got my hands on some and it comes with the wheel and it comes with all these different colour gems the colour gem I'm going to be using today is going to be this dark blue one which I decided not to go for the orange or any other colour because I feel like orange and blue really go well together and there's quite a contrast so I've decided to go a bit different considering I'm going orange on the eyes and orange on the lips I decided to add a bit of the blue gem just on the lash line just to make it pop just going to put this eyelash glue right in the centre of my bottom lash line and then put the gem on and I'm just going to take the end of a spoolie brush. I've just wet the end of this spoolie brush and then I've popped it into the rhinestone wheel and this just really helps pick up the gem and I'm going to place this on my lash line. Like that. And then I'm also just going to add a bit of bottom lash mascara. And this is the finished eye look. Now I'm going to do my highlight, of course, that's the best part of the video. I couldn't not leave that out. I have already done my bronzer and contour, so that means I have left my highlight to show on camera because I love seeing people do the highlight, it is literally the best. So, you probably have already guessed, but... The Urban Decay. Urban Decay? Urban Decay is in highlighter. It's the bomb. The bomb. time I use this I'm still blown away. Oh god. Why does Urban Decay make most amazing highlighter? Please. Urban Decay. Urban, why do I keep saying Urban Decay? Urban Decay highlighter is literally what dreams are made of. Damn. Oh god. It's so beautiful. So now for lips I'm going to be using something that I've never used on my channel before and this is the Smashbox be Legendary Lipstick in Rap Party. This is very orange and quite bright, um, but it's not an orange, pure orange. It's quite a peachy orange and it's so pretty. I wanted to kind of match with the eyes, so quite a burnt orange eye and an orange lip. I just had this idea in my head and I kind of went with it. So this is the lipstick I'm going to be using first. Now for the last lip product I'm going to be putting on is this MAC Star Trek lip glass in the shade Pleasure Planet and this is so pretty, it's literally like a gold shimmer glitter gloss, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to put this over the top. So that is the finished makeup look. video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already the button should be around here somewhere and definitely click the bell button because that will notify you every time I upload it will just keep you on top of my upload schedule and I will see you on Sunday bye hello chicken nugget hello, hello you that's it that's it that's it it's got it all in there hasn't it yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you look it. <laughs> look at the stuff, isn't it neat? Doesn't it make my collection complete? <laughs>